When we get back to the floral project, we'll start out working with the blob brush rather than the paintbrush. And when you're working with the blob brush, one of the best tools for editing your work is the eraser tool. You'll find the eraser tool just below the blob brush in the tool panel. And if you hold, you'll see the flyout menu, and the scissors tool is here in the eraser tool menu as well. And we've used the scissors tool and the eraser tool in several of my classes. I'm going to ignore the knife tool here. It works only on closed paths, not on open paths or lines, so it's a little less versatile and not right for this class. But try it yourself if you want with a closed shape if you're curious. And notice the shortcuts. The eraser tool is Shift E, kind of like how the blob brush tool is Shift B, so that may help you remember the shortcut. And the scissors tool shortcut to refresh your memory is C for cut. So here I have a blob brush stroke that I drew with a five point right angle calligraphic brush, and we're zoomed in here. And when I get the eraser tool, you can see it cuts through the blob brush stroke and when I select it, you can see the eraser tool has carved this into individual closed shapes. So it's great for working on closed paths like the ones you make with the blob brush. And I'll undo that to get back to my single shape here. And so this allows you to do some fine tuning here like this. Just shaving a little off the end of the stroke here and making it taper to a finer point, just carving away. And if you double click the eraser tool, you'll see all these old familiar options for changing the size and roundness and angle, and there's pressure sensitivity too. So it's like a calligraphic brush, or it's like what you see in the blob brush options dialog box. So you can make a change to the eraser tool here, or I'll close this. You can use the left and right bracket keys while you're using the eraser tool to lower and raise the diameter and you can just go back and forth as you work using the bracket keys. Also, if you're using a Wacom tablet that has an eraser, and both my Bamboo and my Intuos 4 have an eraser on the end that engages when you flip the pen stylus over, so you just flip your pen over to summon the eraser tool. So the eraser tool is the perfect companion to the blob brush. Also, you don't have to select anything to use it. It will erase anything that isn't locked down, open paths and closed paths. But there are a few things you can't erase, like text. If you want to erase text, you have to convert it to outlines first. And you can't erase images, like the sketch we've been using in this project. Also, you can limit what gets erased by selecting the object you want to erase first, like this line here in the middle of this series of lines. So when something is selected, you can only erase the selected object. When nothing is selected, you can erase anything that's erasable on the artboard. And here I have some rectangles with a fill and a stroke. And watch what happens when I run the eraser through this shape. It carves the shape into individual shapes, and the appearance, the stroke and the fill, is reapplied to the individual shapes. So these all have the stroke around them now. And like we've seen with other drawing tools, holding shift constrains the angle you're drawing in to 45 degrees, so you can make perfectly straight lines with the eraser tool. You can also hold down the Option or Alt key on a PC, and this lets you work with the eraser tool in rectangular marquee fashion. If you add shift to option or alt, you have a square marquee eraser. So that's pretty cool, but again, notice in all these instances, the stroke and fill is reapplied to the individual shapes. So when you cut through something with the eraser, Illustrator then re-renders the objects. And this is important to us because when we're not using the blob brush, we've been drawing with the paintbrush in this class. And this re-rendering behavior of the eraser tool makes it not such a great match for paintbrush strokes. Here I have three of the same strokes, all drawn with the paintbrush tool and the five-point right-angle calligraphic brush. And when I erase this first one, you can see how it's re-rendering, and the brush stroke is reapplied to the individual paths, and it's lost the original width variation. 
The better tool for paintbrush paths is the scissors tool. And remember the shortcut is C for cut. And so when I cut, just by clicking in a couple places along this line, it doesn't change the brush stroke so drastically like the eraser tool did. And then there's also a tool, and this one lives under the pencil tool, and it's called the path eraser. It only works on selected paths, and it works when you drag it along the path like this. And so, like the scissors tool, it's a little more paintbrush tool friendly than the eraser tool. So for blob brush strokes, use the eraser tool and flip your pen if you have one with an eraser or use the shortcut shift E. And then use the left and right bracket keys to change the size on the fly or double click to get its options. And for paintbrush paths, better to stick to the scissors tool or the path eraser tool. The scissors tool shortcut is C and the path eraser tool is located under the pencil tool. And meet me in the next lesson and we'll get back to drawing. Thank you.